Oh wow, it's been such a long time. I think it's finally time for another Hot Takes video. Let's see what we got. Naruto's not no damn revolutionary. Don't think Krillin beat Nami, man. Like, you don't think Krillin like, beats really Nami? Not a good what? As the title suggests, we are back with some more hot takes. The concept is pretty self-explanatory, so we are diving right into them. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and get ready to drop your IQ by a couple points. <laughs> Hey yo! I'm thoroughly convinced there is a comprehension epidemic that plagues our population, and it'll only get worse from here. And it of can't course, be that bad, let's not send any hate to these creators, cause we don't move like that around here. If Krillin was on Earth, would he have stopped Omni Man? No, I don't. I don't believe so. I, I think so. I, 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 what? I mean, Viltrumites, they savage. Pause right there. What does be Krillin's not beating Omni Man? He's literally one tapping Omni Man. That's not even going to be a fight. That's not lasting more than 0.5 seconds. How can you even say that with a straight face? That doesn't even make any substantiating sense. Literally. Being savage even mean in this fight. We already glazed in Viltrumites and we're barely 20 seconds into the take. These Viltrumites can be wild animals with rabies. It doesn't matter. At this point in the Dragon Ball franchise, any participant in the Tournament of Power for Universe 7 it's can destroy the planet thousands of times over. And I'm very familiar with their game, Omni Man, so you can't fool me. A lot of these invincible <laughs> fans will point to the time Omni Man destroyed, and I want to emphasize the air quotes around destroyed a planet in season one. First off, he ain't destroyed the entire planet. He just murked everyone there. There's a difference. If all humans facts, got facts, wiped facts. out, but Earth was still present, you wouldn't say Earth was destroyed. Also, this man grew a full beard by the time it was over, so it must have taken him a minute Damn. for him to actually do it relative to Flax in time. If that oh, me. means he destroyed the planet, then I don't even know what we're doing here anymore. You don't think Krillin beat Nami, man? I don't think Krillin beat Nami, man. Krillin one shots, bro. He gonna palm, he gonna palm Krillin's head and just you know. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. The disrespect is actually insane. This man Krillin was fighting a suppressed Super Saiyan Blue Goku. That alone should tell you that Krillin is one-shotting Omni Man. This respect this man is giving my guy Krillin is insane. Literally. Hey man, I understand that Krillin was getting hey, the breaks beaten off of him a lot in DBZ, but that doesn't change the fact that he was getting stronger throughout the series. In case you don't know what power creep is, allow me to give you a little lesson. As the series progresses <laughs> and main characters get stronger, some villains or past characters eventually fall behind in strength. So even though we know during the Namek Saga, Frieza was way stronger than Krillin. If Tournament of Power Krillin were to enter into the Namek Saga, he'd be the strongest character easily. That's Facts. just how crazy Dragon Ball Power Creep can get. Also, Literally. Krillin is probably just a better fighter than Omni-Man due to his martial arts background. I still think he would make an example out of the Invincible Universe. As in... He beating the shit out of Omni-Man in my mind. Whoa. W take. W take. This man in That's what I'm ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this superpower J. Jonah Jameson couldn't even catch an elderly man pressing a button. He's Insane. not touching Krillin. One destructo Literally. <laughs> Bro, who am I kidding? One punch and Krillin accidentally wipes Omni-Man off the face of the earth. Controversial debate within the anime community is if Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, is even a good writer. What? I am not what? convinced what? he's not a good writer. Have you not seen the character named Sasuke Uchiha and how beautifully, extravagantly beautiful this man Sasuke is written? If you don't think Sasuke is a well-written character, bro, you, you, I, I don't think your brain cells can even comprehend what a good writer is. And that's all I gotta say about that. Good writer. Sasuke. Oh, wow, another bad Naruto take. But let's really look at that word, bad, B-A-D. It rhymes with other words like mad, ad, had, dad, yes. had, etc. I think it's also <laughs> interesting that all these words also have three letters in each of them. You know what else has three of something? A triangle, which has three sides. There are also Wait, three it really? different types of triangles. Scaling, it has three sides? And triangle has three sides, y'all? also make up something called a five cell, a fourth dimensional triangle. Have you noticed what I'm three, doing yet? I'm doing sides? the same thing that the guy in this video is doing. I'm yapping. That's all some of these content creators be doing. I don't know why, but there are always people who get Oh, me, he gotta be having breakfast. When did a triangle have three sides, my guy? So invested into something that they believe they have enough credibility to distinguish what's good and bad. This man said it was a debate to wonder if Kishimoto was a good writer. A Give debate is a crazy, break. bro. You can see this with various amounts of things, sports, media, education, etc., where you see plenty of people calling a professional bad at their respective craft. You are allowed to <laughs> criticize certain aspects of someone's craft, but to say they are outright bad at what they do is if he was a bad stupid. writer Naruto wouldn't be top three enemies know and love and say that the writer is bad if the writing was so butt cheeks it wouldn't get that popular or exactly. be a part of shonen jump everyone will be able to see it from a mile away Naruto is one of the most iconic anime in the world but since some of y'all took a literary class in high school you think the you story is amazing the too bad the actual reasoning for this guy calling it bad is also extremely stupid the first thing he talks about is specific moments in the story that make him question Kishimoto's abilities and let me tell you if certain moments in the story that can be seen as questionable right 
writing is the sole reason why someone is a bad writer, then we can apply similar logic to other things. Anytime Stephen Curry misses a three, we can diminish his status as the best shooter and call him a bad one. If literally Mr. Beast has a couple videos that don't get 100 million views, we can call him a bad YouTuber. I like it's rare for a manga creator to go 100%, 100 for 100 out of all the writing in it. So there's gonna be some parts where it's not the best. It's gonna be some parts where be like, whoa, what's bullshit? Doesn't make him a bad writer. Come on now, just, just use that brand in there. You know what I'm saying? You, you have one, uh, maybe. I think you see the point that I'm getting at. These guys wouldn't be at the top of their respective crafts if they weren't good at it. I've seen this list going around a lot and it's pretty mid to say the least. Yet I've seen multiple creators try Let's to defend this list, From what bro. I can gather, this list is basically talking about characters who are considered hardworking and those who are simply gifted. If we're all being completely honest, a lot of these characters are probably some mix of both to an extent. So the list should actually Facts. be more like a spectrum. But ignoring that idea, some of these classifications are just dumb. Why I is Gojo hardworking this. when he's admitted that most of Jujutsu sorcery is just raw talent? Sure. Gojo trained is limitless. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's, let's, let's go back to the list real quick, y'all boys. So we have Goku, Tanjiro, Boruto, Naruto, Ichigo, and Deku. All in gifted. First of all, Goku gifted? Did the creator of this list even watch Dragon Ball? Goku gifted? This nigga trains every hour of the day. This nigga does not stop. Like, literally, how is he gifted? Like, yeah, he has his super saiyan. He has a nice, you know, race. But other than that, he still had to work for it. He still had to work for everything. That's just stupid. Naruto, he has Kuruma. He still had to work to learn how to control Kuruma and learn how to really manifest and make him strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not just... Kuruma doesn't come out and save his ass every single time. He actually learned how to master him. You know what I'm saying? Tanjiro, man, just get the fuck out with that bullshit, man. Come on, Tanjiro, dog! The whole list is flawed. The whole list is flawed. I'm not, I'm not about to go one by one in each character, but the fact that you put Gojo in hard working is, is insane work with all he does is sit there and not let the things touch him. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, y'all boys, but that, that's, that, that's just crazy. Once you saw Gojo in hard working, you should have known this shit was flawed. I ain't gonna hold you. Trained is limitless, but he was already born broken. Curse users were Fetch. shivering their timbers when they saw Gojo walking in the street. You can't touch him, bro. Inventory. He was portrayed to be the prodigy who was just really strong without having to train like someone getting ready for Batman. So I'd personally say that this man is more gifted than hardworking. Another one who I think is wrong is Goku. I'm not gonna say that Facts. Goku is the definition of hard work, but he's pretty he, dang close to he, it. He, a he lot really of people is just the forget definition. that Saiyans are not super strong off the bat. They have to train to get a lot stronger. Really, what I said, bro. Perception on the progression of Saiyans in the series and that. They get super strong super quickly. That's something Frieza's race does when Frieza does like three push ups and unlocks a new form on oh Super Saiyan Blue. These told oh me Frieza be gone for three days and come back with a new form, bro. <laughs> me be training for three hours, like, all right, go to Frieza. Like, that man Frieza to stop training. Who are like anomalies compared to the average Saiyan on planet Vegeta. They've just been fortunate enough to train with gods and have a bunch of resources to help their progress. Literally. Goku and Vegeta ain't get all this power overnight. All of these forms they're unlocking and mastering still require a good amount of training to even attain. Also, I know time. Goku as a kid was more of a prodigy, but as the series progressed, I feel like the hard work aspect kind of overtook that idea. Before a quick second, I wanted to return to the topic of TikTok lives and just any type of conversation in general. If you ever see these prove me wrong type of lives, I'd recommend that you just don't join them. You <laughs> will stop. not be on equal grounds when you try to make points. What I mean by that is that they have all the power and will definitely have some disingenuous arguments and then boot you afterwards. I boot you afterwards. Okay, so did he train to perfect Limitless? He did train to perfect limits, but did he not from like? Thank you. He definitely trained to perfect limitless. Hey, man. Dog, dog, dog. <laughs> no way he said Gojo is hard working, bro. When he was literally born with the most broken ability in the show, when literally says most of Jutsu sorcery is mostly talent. <laughs> Come on, dog. Like, literally, you can't touch this man, bro. Like, and he just booted him after he was finna cook him. Man, I won't lie. It's low key funny to spectate if you turn off your brain a bit. It's clearly some sort of engagement method, so they got it. I just say, <laughs> if you genuinely want to talk about the topic, go to neutral grounds where you can actually get off points. Next take. I just feel like the top few speedsters in JJK can run with Naruto characters, bro. Oh my what? gosh. I'm gonna open the comments. And what? Like, the JJK characters are literally scrub compared to Naruto characters. Those are two animes you don't compare. Compare to something like freaking My Hero Academia. Because holy Naruto is a crazy jump. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Naruto glazer, man. I promise I'm not. This was <laughs> not done on purpose. I won't get on this guy's head again too much because it's just being ignorant. Nah, get on nothing it. wrong get with on being it. ignorant. It just means that you don't know something. And there's nothing <laughs> really wrong with that. JJK is the series that's popping off right now. So I understand people thinking that the verse is stronger than it actually um, is. However, Pop these guys are nowhere near the speed of other characters in different series. For example, in One Piece, a casual feat for them is dodging light beams, something that JJK characters could only dream of doing. The Toji Thanks. running on water is cool and all, but it's nowhere near as 
as fast as some of these Naruto characters. To give you perspective, apparently Haku was moving at light speed between these mirrors, and Kid Naruto and Sasuke were fighting him during the first arc. But in case that isn't believable, Kakashi was able to cut lightning from the sky with Chidori, and there are way more characters who are stronger and faster than this version of Kakashi. Cutting Basically, lightning is a devious. bunch of Naruto characters are way faster than any JJK character. This image that was Thanks. going around a while back about Toji versus the Sasuke Retriever arc was really- And he's missing a very good point. They are way stronger than JJK. Dang, how many J's I'ma say? JJK characters. Wait, did I even say that? Forget it, bro. JJK characters. Really just a setup for Toji. This man is getting bodied by one oh Fangor Fang along with 80% of the JJK One Fangor Fang is crazy. My hey. Hero, whoa, 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 I kind of missed it. My Hero Academia made anime mainstream. I refuse to let y'all revise history like it did in Crunchyroll. Owes My Hero everything. There's no way you can get on your phone and type this up and seriously think this. There is no way you think My Hero has carried anime and the history of anime needs to be rewritten because of My Hero. Honestly, I'm not gonna take a hike, my boy. Hey man, we're not even going crazy long on this one. Everyone, laugh at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but all jokes to the right, I think this take can be both bad and good depending on your definition good. of mainstream. Personally, I don't think anime was made mainstream by My Hero, mainly because it wasn't as niche as people may say. However, I will give My Hero props as it had about a three year stretch where it was scorching hot and was everywhere. I also That's feel like true. we saw that the same true. type of popularity with other anime preceding My Hero with Demon Slayer and JJK. They These were cooking. Helped usher in a new age of anime fans. And due to how easy each of them are to pick up, so many more people were able to pick up anime as a result. Also, I think a certain global pandemic and content creators caused a lot more people to pick up anime and true, perceive it as normal. True. So you can say that My Hero played a role in making anime mainstream to an extent, no, but let's no, not act like didn't. other anime and factors didn't have something to do with it. We got some very foolish Demon Slayer takes. I'm noticing a lot of Demon Slayer fans are rising from the dead again since the anime You're reached the new the season dead. and the Affinity Castle arc looks to be nothing but f***ing gas. The first one is, <laughs> one of my friends told me that Muzan solos Frieza because his hacks region are supposedly better than Frieza's durability since Frieza can't heal on his own. Well, what? What? Mu Muzan cooking Frieza? How can you form those two citizens in this world and actually think you're spitting? I'm not even gonna say nothing, bruh. You're just, you're just honestly sped, bruh. You're just sped, bruh. You're you're spent. First off, I was told that you surround yourself with people who are like you, and your friend seems to be insane, so I hope that's not an indication of you. We need to really stop with our Dragon Ball hot takes, because no one has watched or read the series. It's very clear. Literally. Frieza will dead blow the planet if he has to, but he wouldn't even need to do that, because he'll just keep death tapping. beaming Muzan until he's nothing. Muzan came- Muzan got cooked by 10 humans. 10 regular humans know how to breathe, dog. And you're talking about Muzan taking care of Frieza? I gotta ask you, is everything going on at home? Are you okay? Are you in your right mental state? Do you need to, do you need to be taken to the mental hospital, my guy? He can't even survive in the sun. So you might just get Yorichi PTSD when he sees a supernova. I'm not even <laughs> gonna talk about this Yorichi versus Goku take. Yajirobe probably takes this That's guy's lunch money, to be honest. Literally. Another take I saw was related to Luffy being just a brawler and not having any skill whatsoever. I think what? this take derives from people seeing a bunch of other Shona MCs running every single fighting. I have one word for this take. Gear 5 style under the sun and perceiving that as the only way to have skill. Luffy has a lot of skill. It just looks different. I've talked about Thanks. this in other videos, but Luffy's fruit is not easy to control and it took a while for Luffy to master it. So as far as I'm Literally. concerned, Luffy perfectly controlling a gum gum pistol is a good amount of skill in my book. Sure, he may not be doing all these grappling techniques or fighting styles, but calling him just a brawler is just being just dishonest. Just a brawler. And finally, hope you enjoyed the video, man. And hope hey, you didn't w lose too video, many bro. I don't know